You hear these statements a lot. Every day something tragic happens. A child dies. Cancer takes another life. An earthquake kills thousands. It forces people to ask the question, if God is loving and merciful, why is there pain and suffering in the world? Well, that's a good question. And thankfully, the Bible sheds a lot of light on this subject. Check this out. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the declaration of the very first verse in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. The next couple of chapters explain in broad terms what God made over the course of the six literal days he used to complete his creation. Light, the sky, plants, animals, and humans. That's right, God created everything, and according to Genesis 131, he saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. That is, it was complete and perfect. There was no death and no suffering. There was no survival of the fittest. Animals didn't attack and eat each other. Adam and Eve, the first two humans, did not kill animals for food. Genesis 129 through 30 makes it clear that man and animals ate only fruits and vegetables. So the original creation was wonderful, peaceful, without death, full of life and joy, and all enjoying the presence of God, the Creator. So what in the world happened? How do we get from there to here? Well, something drastic must have happened that altered the original creation, and that something was sin. Remember, God created a perfect world and placed Adam and Eve in paradise. As their creator, he had authority over them, and in his authority, God gave them a rule. In Genesis 2.17, God said, But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. Well, Adam and Eve heard the rule loud and clear, but they willfully disobeyed it. They ate from the tree God told them not to. They chose to live by their rules and separate themselves from God. So the Creator kept His promise that punishment would follow their disobedience. With the rebellious act of one man, sin entered God's creation and death along with it. But the effects of sin didn't stop there, because God had given dominion over all of creation to man in a very real sense. The sin of man affected all of creation. In Genesis 3, we see the beginning of a cursed creation. Thorns and thistles were now part of the world, as well as pain and suffering and death. The world was no longer perfect. It was sin-cursed. And that's why tragic things still happen today. And before we give Adam and Eve the full rap, we have to realize that all of us still willfully sin against God. That should make us really pause and think. But for now, at least on this topic, enough said.